I really like this golf course. It was quite open and the greens were absolutely superb and the caddies were a great help. So Dung, my caddy, was really good at lining up my putts. However, even though he's really good at lining up my putts, it's not so much the fact his line was bad, it seems the person who was putting wasn't too good. Dung was helping me tee up my ball, lining up shots. He was also teaching me how to aim. Dung plays off a 20 handicap. Generally, the club says that about $15, that's one five, is generally a good tip for them. They don't recommend more than that because there's already a caddy fee included in the amount that you pay to play these courses. I'll take, I'll take what I can get. In Vietnam, you have to take a caddy along with you on the golf courses. The golf courses are in pristine condition. And the only reason they're in pristine condition is because those caddies are constantly there you picking go. up See, grass. They're is constantly being fixed. filling those holes. They're making sure that the course is looking great. So if you ever play in Vietnam, just check it out. Check how neat everything is. And that's just because they've got caddies as a prerequisite to playing. You can't fault the beauty of a course like this. Every time I look back at these videos, I always think, oh my gosh, I have to play in Vietnam again. The service is incredible. The golf course is out of this world. You, ju you just want to be there. Even though the weather wasn't great this day, I think in the sunshine, 
it'll be even better. I actually didn't play my best golf this day, mainly because I got hit by a moped scooter motorbike thing in the morning. I was going across the pedestrian crossing or the walkway or the zebra crossing when a motorbike came down the wrong side of the road and hit me in the arm. So there was a slight fracture in my arm, but I carried on playing golf. Not the best golf, but it was lovely on the course nonetheless. Swing, I can get a better shot. <laughs> 